my gorgeous soul, welcome to your monthly May Astrology, direct from my boudoir. Um, yes, it's the best lighting today is here, so we're going to do it here. Anyway, it's a punchy little month. We've got a grand earth sign. We've got a grand fire trine. And Jupiter is still retro, so there is work to be done. Let's get going. Here's your monthly astrology. Capricorn, I bring you tidings of joy. Yeah! This month is all about pleasure. Happy days. Not just pleasure, but creativity, optimism, joyfulness, finding out what makes you happy and, and experiencing a lot of happiness, fingers crossed. I mean, it's, it's very important that you allow that happiness in, you take space for that. I know you're normally working, you're normally full of responsibility, but this is the month of the year where you could have the happiest time and you could have the most fulfilling time. And it all kicks off with a new moon in your pleasure zone, your soulmate zone. There's an ending, there's a beginning, there's a new start for you. You're flowing with ideas, your creativity is on point. Uh, there may be a fresh start when it comes to children one way or the other and you're certainly bounding in feeling a lot more optimistic than last month uh, mercury the planet of communication is giving you again super uh, skills to make other people laugh to be optimistic and super creative so make the most of it and also uranus is bringing in you a, a surprise it could be a surprise soulmate it could be a surprise wondrous experience it could be a surprise uh, burst of creativity but whatever it is it makes you feel good in your beautiful Capricorn soul um, then we have a grand earth trine oh you're gonna love a grand earth trine basically it's like all the energy in the cosmos is pulsating in an earthy way that pushes you forward recharges you and gives you this sense of passion adventure shift of direction and desire and you're like yes I want to express myself I want to explore uh, all sorts of magnificent, surprising, wondrous things could happen for you in May. Venus is then going into your pleasure zone, and this is particularly good because it's your soulmate zone. So you can sort out your emotional relationships and you feel, again, optimistic. And when we feel optimistic, when we feel bright and excited by life, that's when we tend to draw the good experiences to us. So, you know, make the most of that. You can also make money out of your creativity. If you're not interested in relationships, work that magic, that cosmic magic to make money out of an idea that gives you pleasure or even a hobby. Mars is shifting signs and going into your relationship zone, pumping up your passion, but also can make you a bit argumentative if things aren't working in a relationship. You'd be very, very, uh, you'd be a bit of an old rat bag when it comes to, if anybody does a slight, you know, causes a slight problem, you jump down their throat. So watch that energy, but you're also pumped up uh, and excited about relationships. The full moon in Scorpio gives you a very important message when it comes to networking, the internet, uh, pay attention to any emails you get, pay attention to what people are putting out there, pay, a, pay attention to any communities you work with or any collaborations you have, but you may have an amazing insight into what you wanna do in terms of the web or connecting to people, whatever that means to you. Venus is conjunct uh, Uranus on the 18th in your pleasure zone, 18th UK time. So there may be a poof, surprise experience, positive experience, hopefully, when it comes to love, but certainly a very powerful experience. And then on the 21st, it, cal 21st, it calms down and you moving into a space that's all about your working and health and well-being. So really knock your socks off with the pleasure before that. On the 21st, it's like, you want balance, you want to take care of business, you want to get on with what you're doing work-wise, and you want to just focus. So, oh my goodness, it sounds like a really exciting month for you. Enjoy the pleasures it brings. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Now, don't forget my gorgeous soul. Please come visit me on Instagram. It's my favorite thing, and I do all this amazing stuff, which I'm sure you will love. I do live stories, uh, I do pick a tarot card reading on stories. I do tarot card of the day and astrology of the day as well. Um, anyway, I would love to share the love with you. Come meet me.